Hi Rock, we are back, we are doing Halloween nails! But there's something pretty about them. So, I've seen some images on Pinterest. I was Googling and I didn't want to do something just, you know, normal. That's per, you know, generic Halloween stuff. I've seen this. Just love the like butterfly skull thing. I think it's so cool. So, we're going to start with base coat, obviously. So, Andrea's already got a set of nails on. I'm going to use this middle one for the main artwork. For the flutterby. For the flutterby skull. I'm going to do two coats of white out. And I just gently sort of bounce that up to the cuticle without touching the cuticle. Now, if you are one of those people who don't get close to the cuticle because you don't want to flood the cuticle, then if you take the Cassidy Detailer brush and add a little bit of whatever colour it is you're using to the brush, only a little bit because you've already got wet paint on the nail, wet, wet, chain, but a wet gel polish. You could use this brush and just sweep round to get a little bit closer. And it's a little bit more controlled. Right, I'm top coating this because we're going to do a bit of pencil work. I'm going to do this little one, full Vegas baby. It's bright, it's vibrant, it's delicious, just like Vegas baby. I wanted to run off to Vegas. Do you know why I wanted to run off? Because my, I love being in Stoke, but I wanted to run off to Vegas and be a makeup artist for showgirls. I thought showgirls will have their own makeup artists. They don't do no. they just do their own makeup, do you yeah. know what I mean? So I would have been very sad, <clears> wouldn't I? <laughs> right, so and then we've got Pony on there, in the lamp you go, fish brush bosh. going to top coat all of them just be for the purpose of the video to be honest because I know I'm going to touch these other nails if you were doing it in the salon you wouldn't you'd be working on all the nails at the same time but because I'm going to be working on this nail and the thumb mainly for this video I'm just going to top coat them so we don't get no fluff on them and stuff like that plus the other reason is I'm working on a white nail we want to make it like paper that's going to make it like a paper matte surface and I, I know some of you think well why don't you just put some matte top coat on doesn't do some work doesn't the same thing doesn't work believe me try it if you want doesn't work <laughs> right so i've got this illustration as my inspiration it will not look exactly the same and i'm just gonna sketch out the shape first can you see that bit so top wing here, bits at the back, the other wing there. Then we come down to this bottom wing, which is like the bottom of the jaw. Then we've got this horrible looking body of the, the butterfly. This is not a nice butterfly. This is like, bleh. I'm going to use Void, which is the blackest black you ever did see. So pigmented. And we're going to go over those lines that we've done. You don't need to do them really thick or really pigmented. You just want to go over that. Oh, well, that's now we go. We're just marking our territory. I'm just going to blend that bit out a little bit.
So we've got this basic outline done. I can kind of work from this. Right, put that on the lamp. Right, I'm going to add a little bit of depth now so we can sort of add a bit of black to these sections of black. So this is like the top of this is the top of it. We can add some darkness to the eyes, the cavities of the eyes. Do you know what? I've got friends that love, and people online as well, that love Halloween more than Christmas. Lots of people do, don't they? Mm. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I'm just going to use the Miko gel brush and that's just going to get a little bit of that wet black gel polish I'm just going to like feather that out so it's got a bit of a shadow so it's it's getting there isn't it now right put that in I'm just using that brush to add those little like the markings of the of the um, flutter by butterfly So when you're doing any kind of shading, you need like the tiniest amount of product on. Just gonna add a bit of depth here. You can see we've got a bit of a pattern of the wing. We have skull. <laughs> I just want to add a little bit of detail to this bottom area here. So we've got some teeth in those little sections there. He is, he is missing a few teeth. He's not going to the dentist enough. That might be how he died when we hit him in the mouth with a shovel. Right, so when we got like, they don't know what, what, we, what it's like. Is it like a beard? Like, I don't know, it's just bits of fifth of fifth of fifth. It's a fifth of fifth of fifth. It's just, I don't know, we're just going to add a little bit so far. Some stringiness? Yeah. Sinew. What's what? Sinew. Sinew. What the hell is sinew? Like, educate me. Like, Come up. No, no, sinew is like. Muscle sinews. Are you sure you haven't watched the program? Mm. Sinew, like, sinew, like, like where muscle attaches yeah. to the bone. Yeah. Really? Is that what it's mm. called? How do you even know this, Andrea? Because mm. I just watch about movies all the time. Really. <laughs> I've got an unhealthy obsession. With <laughs> an unhealthy obsession with murder. <laughs> Did you not see? There was a. Um, a meme, I think. Or oh, was it a TikTok? My wife says she when she just wants a peaceful night and she wants to go to bed early, watch some telly, and she puts on real real life crime and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, be afraid. Yeah. Be very afraid. So I always watch you ever watch Snapped Women Who Kill? No. The dame will say, Oh, what are you watching? They snapped women who kill. 
So he's like, have I got to be worried? You know, they keep getting caught. They keep getting caught? Yeah. So when I they don't get know. caught. <laughs> when they don't get caught, then you need to worry. Yeah. When, you, when you're living in the same house as somebody that snapped. Yeah. Then you need to worry, don't you? Did you watch that uh, oh, American Family Next Door or something like that? About the guy and his wife and two children? Mm. Oh. Right, a little bit of the veil, which is our transparent black top coat. So it's like a jelly top coat, but it's black. So it's going to give you like a nice shading effect. I need to work on this body. And I'm going to put the veil, that transparent black here. You see how that gives it a shadow? So you now have a shadow between the wings, so you've got that depth. So I'm going to use that colour to add any more shading. I'm going to do these lovely saliva kind of lines, which I think make it extra vile. <laughs> Why is that making me salve? <clears throat> Ew. Gross. Can't show me that. So I'm just going to do the sections of. Horrible body. Because she doesn't like bugs then. I don't like bugs. I don't I don't like them. I don't see the purpose. I love bees. I like bees. They like wasps. Wasps are just do, do no. I think she's only flies that I don't like. I like no. most bugs. Yeah, I don't like flies because they're just annoying, aren't they? Yeah. You've got the whole world fly about and yet they find a way in your room. Do they want to be on you? Yeah. These wasps in Italy, oh my god, they're huge. Absolutely huge. And we have hornets as well. And they're horrible. And apparently they're like really aggressive, so they say don't swap them away because they'll just come for you. Really? Hmm. What hornets? Hmm. What are they? Mm -hmm. They're like wasps on steroids. No. Yeah. Oh my god, I would not be happy. I like bacon. Really? Yeah, and when they're flying, they sound like bombers. Hold on, I think I've encountered them in China. You might have, yeah. I think I have because I was like, my twin is no It's horrible. And they really hurt if they sting you. Right. In the lamp. I'm going to use a tiny bit of white now. Yeah. I think. I think. Are we done? Yeah, pop it in the lamp. Now, what I'm going to do with these. Not in that with that brush. These bright colours, these are the colours, we're going to do little, little splodges of colour. Just tying in that. These do not need to be like perfect, they just need to be quite random. Some big ones, some little ones. Pop it in the lamp. Then I'm going to get the black and I'm going to slightly overlap some black little Lodges onto some of those colours. And look, let's top coat that. Now you could use matte top coat or you could use glossy. I'm using our glossy top coat. If you're going to use matte, I would definitely gloss it over first, pop it in. Because if you are not really careful and gentle with matte top coat, it will pull the colour down the nail. Oh, I like it. Yeah, class that. Love it. Love it. On these coloured ones, 
just had an idea. So I'm going to buff the top coat just to take off the shine. We will put crystals on, but we're going to put a different top coat on. Pretty much going to do a similar kind of thing as I've done on here. So we're just going to time lapse that through, but we're going to do some on the thumb. Oh my God, I watched a thing. Um, you know the 24 hours, not 24 hours, I mean, it's the, the emergency one, the one that's filmed in Stoke. Yeah. Oh my God, that was on the other night and a guy has been at work. He's like a fabricator, fabric fabric yeah. that's the one. Yeah. The ones that we with metal. Mm -hmm. It's a piece of metal. About this wide, about that big, fired off the machine and hit him in the face. And he got all bandages on him at first, but then you want to know what the damage is. Yeah. You're intrigued, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Um, he ended up losing um, sight in one of his eyes. Um, he had loads of facial injuries. Mm. He's all around here was just literally shattered into tiny, tiny pieces. His, this part of his jaw mm. Uh -huh, mm. was completely mobile. Really? Completely mobile, mm. so they had, to, they had to pin all that. Yeah. This, the, the work that they did on him was absolutely incredible. phenomenal. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. incredible, honest. But it was it was hard to watch, had, but yeah. wow. Yeah. I know. Wow. There was a guy that was trapped. This arm was trapped by a car. <sighs> he ended up losing his arm. Did he? Um, then there was, what was the other one? There was an old guy who'd had a car accident and he was bleeding internally and they were like, he's... The guy, like the main, like the mm. head of that section, head mm. of resource, was said, he's bleeding to death. And he passed away. Did he? Mm. Oh, for, I can't watch. Oh. I can't. It's crazy. I can't watch. I have watched the odd one or two, but I just... It's heartbreaking. Mm. I don't know how I watch them. Just so sad all the time. Yeah. <laughs> it's what these eyes remind me of. Mm. In fact, the whole hand was iron fish shoes. Zombie stompers. Yes. You know which ones I mean? Yeah. It's them colours. It is, yeah. Same yeah. colours, yeah. yeah. Oh, I absolutely love it. It's so cool. And I've got the butterfly skull. I love them. So these three, to tie them in, we need a bit of black. So this is my thought. I am going to do a bit of chewy on top of it. So chewy is the flaked top coat. It's from the SFX collection. So it's a top coat, but it's got these amazing black flakes in it and I just think it's going to be perfect. It's got a little bit of glitter in as well. This is just going to tie it all together. Ah, no one put stones on there, don't you? Oh, I need to... Oh, if you could just put that on, but we can put stones on. So because I'm putting stones on, what I'm going to do is put stones on, then I'll put the top coat on. Okay. Let's go. Oh my god. Who was the first one doing nail art? Do you know when you should just have your nails painted? Wasn't no. it? You don't know, there wasn't a specific person. I think it probably goes back to like Egyptian ages and things like that, to be honest. Oh yeah, possibly, yeah. yeah. I thought of that. Like in the, Indian with the yeah. henna on the nail and yeah. things like that. Yeah. yeah. Don't have a clue. Mm. Because the Indians do the henna, don't they? I love to see that. That good, mm. isn't it? I don't know where it would come from. There's no use to have patterns on your nails or gems or anything. You just had your nails painted, didn't you? You didn't have them different colours or... I don't know, like it's been around a while. Yeah, but I mean, like, I'm sort of... When people first started having their nails done. No, it was just to have longer nails. Yeah, it? yeah. That yeah. was the sort of purpose. I mean, I knew a woman. I worked with her for years and years and years, and she had... Her nails done 
every probably three weeks, two, three weeks. And she always had the exact same colour. Really? Yeah, I never changed it. The exact origin mm. of nail treatment is unclear since it appears to have orig- originated in different parts of the world around the same time in ancient Egypt from 5000 BC to 3000 BC. Mm. Women would dye their nails with henna to indicate social status. Ah. Oh. So you're pretty much right. Yeah. Wow. Well, I must have read that before somewhere. And yeah. I just got that out of my head. You know, it's been it's been hibernating. Yeah, for a while. I've woken it up. Woken it up, Because okay. there's no way I could have just been right. <laughs> right, so because we put the stones on now, we're going to take the chewy top coat. That sounds like the top coat's actually chewy. It's not. It's just called chewy, which it's named after Adam's cat. Um, and I'm going to put... named after the Star Wars character. Well, like, who's named after the Star Wars character? Yeah, yeah. So we're going to put that on. Choo, choo, it's brown though. Not Adam's cat, isn't it? Adam's cat's black. So it's called Chewy. Okay. So, I am going to put that on. Make sure I kiss the stones. So I'm just literally pushing it up to the stones and giving it a kiss with the with the top coat. Just moving these bits around to where I want them. This one we're going to go here and around here. You can take a softener brush and then start to neaten that up. And release it. Before I go in the lamp, I'm going to take off all the excess off the brush. And I'm just going to smooth those edges so there's no bulk. Oh, Andrea's tummy oh, is no, going probably. crazy. Yeah. Pop that in. I think that just ties it in. Oh, God. Don't yeah. it just yeah. do a little bit of yeah. black? Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. Let's oil this. Yep. Yeah, and these colours definitely say to me Halloween. Definitely, this yeah. Is Halloween, Halloween, Halloween. So, there you are, guys. If you want a closer look at these nails, stick around to the end, for the end of this video because there will be lots of lovely close shots of um, the nails taken by our amazing photographer, must like thank our photographer, which is me. <laughs> Jay just stood there like, oh, for God's sake. Jay was saying yesterday, I was humble once. <laughs> 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 yes so there you are guys everything i've used today will be listed below with discount codes whatever all down there if you've enjoyed this video please subscribe if you didn't scroll up i don't mind i don't mind right i'll see you in the next one Ta-da!